guys, welcome back to another video. It is your favorite baby girl wit, and I'm back again with the back again. As you guys already read from that title, I am finally getting around to doing my bond number nine collection. Out of all of my houses in my fragrance collection, bond number nine is the one that I have the most bottles from. I started using bond number nine in 2011, 2012. Um that time I was in middle school. Yeah, I started using bond number nine in middle school. It sounds crazy. But yes, there's a lot of them that are some real OGs in the collection that I've had them for years now. Um, not the specific bottle, but the specific scent. This is one of the booklets that came with one of my purchases. I'm going to show you guys also the box of how a bond number nine perfume would typically come. Yeah, so now I want to talk about the packaging of how a bond fragrance usually comes. All of them come in a box like this. It will have their display and their name for the fragrance. And then the fragrance usually sits right in there. So this is the box for Queens. So the fragrance will sit right in here, just like that. And then it has this on top, just like that. So that's the way it usually comes. I just wanted to show you guys. Bond number nine fragrances. For the most part, except for the specific Dubai collection that I'll get into towards the end of the video, they are named after landmarks in NYC, streets, and also just like areas. Um, and in my collection, I don't have a lot of the ones that I even love as well. Once they've emptied, I just never repurchased them. Kind of moved on to other things. Some of them that I know that are really, really good is Scent of Peace for Her, Scent of Peace for Him. Highline is also really, really good. I used to love Highline back in the day. I used to spray it up like crazy. Other good ones were New Harlem, Central Park West, like the OGs. Udi Noho. Oh my gosh, that one was really good too. But yeah, those were the ones. And I noticed that I don't really see a lot of YouTubers talking about bond number nine if they do talk about it it's maybe one or two fragrances in their collection um this is a house that i think everyone should get their nose on they should smell you would like everyone can find at least two things out of this house because they have loads and loads of fragrances that they will really like i'm gonna get into my top five bond number nine fragrances out of my collection this is not out of the whole um collection that they have this is not out of everything they've ever made this is just what i have currently in my collection i don't want to talk about anything that i don't have right here so i'm going to talk about the five that i have in my collection the first one that i've already talked about here on my channel will have to be greenwich village okay this scent is a fruity fresh scent i've spoke about it before yes it is compared by some to baccarat rouge 540 but this right here is more fresh more fruity I spray this is such a comfort smell to me and this is actually my fragrance of the day this is such a comfort um smell to me that I actually spray this in my bed I do I, this is a comfort smell to me I love it like this is something that I have to get refills for. I always tell my sister like should I buy another bottle should I buy another bottle because I just don't want this to finish my sister has a bottle too so if anything you know but I just don't want this to finish like this is an amazing scent greenwich village i love it it's, it's number one my second one out of my top five will have to be bond number nine manhattan the reason why i love this smell i think it's more nostalgic to me i love when bay has this smell on like this right here oh my gosh it smells so good to me to me manhattan has a seductive smell it's also another fresh scent but this is a fr this is like a warm, spicy, fresh that could be used at night, in my opinion. It smells amazing on a woman, and it smells even more amazing on a man. I love a bond number nine Manhattan. The next runner-up is going to be Ruby, Dubai Ruby. Oh my gosh! Oh, I've already compared it to Starry Nights. I have already talked about that, but this is so warm it is such a warm scent like i love it the bottle the pre some people actually don't like the presentation of the bond number nine bottles but i have to say i do like the presentation i like it i think it's cool um i don't, I don't see anything wrong with it i really really like this scent so that's number three ruby number four okay we got queens in the building i lived in queens for most of my life so i tell you guys something about bond if you spray this okay and i've done wear tests okay and i'm gonna speak and the reason why i remember this is because i've done the wear test on queens um queens is 
is Queens the latest one in the collection? No, no, no. The Dubai one is. Okay. The Dubai collection is the latest ones in the collection. But Queens, oh my gosh. When I did the wear test on Queens, no joke. 12 hours. When I say beast mode, this is beast, 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 beast mode. These are perfumes that perform. Do you hear me? These right here, like... The, you can't even talk about Bond's body, yo. Like, you can't play with their body. Because these fragrances last. When I tell you, they, they last and they last and they last. If somebody comes in to hug you, there is no way they're not going to say, you smell good. There's no way they're going to say, oh my God, what do you have on? I get these questions a lot when I use Bond. Like, that's one thing about performance. You can say whatever else you want to say about the brand. You could say, some people don't really like the Star Bottles um, to each his own. When it comes to presentation for perfume companies and they do something out of the ordinary, out of the different shape, I have, like my personal opinion is that I think it's unique because there's no other perfume on the market that's this shape. You can spot a Bond number no. 9 perfume. Whether or not you like it or not, you can definitely spot a Bond number no. 9 perfume. Back to the juice. It's fruity, it's tuberose, it's floral. It's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I see, a, I just see a lot of women liking this. And you know what's crazy? A man can pull this off too. A, a man can pull it off. That's on the fourth spot, Queens. On the fifth spot, we have Garnet. Um, I love the color. I don't know how it's coming on, on camera, but it is like a light purple in the bottle and then the cap is a bit darker. I love Garnet. This is another floral, sweet, fresh, spicy scent. I, oh, I love it. Oh, 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 I love it. Oh my gosh. I honestly think Garnet and Greenwich Village, if you like Baccarat Rouge 540, these can be just blind buys. Like, I really like it. Manhattan, I wouldn't blind buy. I definitely would not blind buy Manhattan. Um, I think you would definitely have to like it <laughs> to get that one. Now let's just go into the rest of the collection. Those were my top five. Being that we already talked about the five that I like, let's go into one that I really, really just, I used to like it and I just don't like it anymore. That has to be Chinatown. Oh my gosh. You know, if I smelt it on someone, I would not be upset. But for me and for the memories that I have associated with it, I just don't like it. I used to have someone in my life that this was one of their signature scents and nostalgic it's just i don't like it okay it's a wonderful fragrance but just because of the memories that i have associated with the fragrance is, is anybody else like that if you guys have a memory associated with the fragrance you guys just don't like it it's just not your cup of tea um when you think about it you just don't like it i know it's not just me because even oh my gosh it's such a nice scent which is crazy it's a nice scent but when i think about the memories associated with the scent I just, it's just the memories associated with the scent. And you know, I told myself the other day, I'm going to start using it and just acquire brand new memories for the scent to try to get rid of those other memories and the other person that I have associated with this scent. And I think that's what I'm gonna have to do because this is such an amazing scent. It's warm, spicy, woody, has white floral. I believe there's tuberose as well. And it also has vanilla. If I mix this with something else, I'm completely fine. But to use this on its own and just the memories and all of that wrapped with it, boo, it ain't a go for me. Another one that I really like but just doesn't do well with my body chemistry, this one is not even, has, has absolutely nothing to do with memories for Gold Coast. But it is Gold Coast. For some reason, my skin eats this up. I can't smell it. Like, no one can smell it on me after I spray it, and I just cannot smell it. Like, the bottle is absolutely gorgeous, but I just can't, I just can't seem to smell this on me. It just didn't work with me. It's fruity, it's aromatic, and it's not really green green, but it's fresh, it's tropical, it has rose. It's an amazing fragrance. When my sister uses this fragrance, it pro it projects beautifully. Like it smells absolutely great with her body chemistry. On my chemistry, it's not like it smells bad. It just doesn't smell at all. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? It just it just doesn't have a smell at all. That's Gold Coast. Okay, let's go into one that 
hurts the pit of my stomach that doesn't have any memories associated with it, but I just don't like it at all. That is Black Sapphire. When I ordered Black Sapphire, it was a blind buy. Luckily, my mother loves it. So it's, it's my mother's, but oh my gosh, it, and it pisses me off because I love the bottle. I love the black and the gold. It's just doing something for me. Bottle wise, not scent wise. It just does not work for me. If it works for you guys and you put your nose on it or you have it, please let me know. But it just doesn't work for me. It's just something that it does to the pit of my stomach that I just don't like it. And when I hear the notes, I can't figure out what in it would not make me want to like it. I'm going to read the notes for you guys. This fragrance has neroli, saffron, beeswax, honey, Turkish rose, virgin balsam, cedar, pepper, uh, benzoin, sandalwood, tolu blossom, and vetiver. I don't know if it's the benzoin. I don't know what it is in this fragrance, but it's just so off-putting. But on my mom, she loves it. The smell is still the same on my mom, so I can't even front. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not gonna hold nobody body over here. It does not, it just doesn't work. For my nose, it just, I don't like it. Let's talk about one that I really like. Okay, this is I Love New York for the Holidays. Oh my gosh, this is a mature scent. It's sweet, it has patchouli, it's fresh spicy, it's woody. I use fragrances at any any point, any time. It's however I feel, whatever I like personally, but I do like this in the winter months. I don't know. I don't know. It just makes me think like Christmas and, you know, having a shopping list for everyone and going to the city and going to Saks. From Saks, you go to Fedgar, and you go to Louis, then you go to Gucci. You go get a facial. That's, that's what this perfume gives me nostalgically, but I do like it. Let's talk about Madison Square Park. First of all, this is a very, very pretty loud bottle. I like this color pink, but the scent. If I had to rate this scent out of 10, I would say seven. This is why I say seven. There's a green specific note in this scent. Madison Avenue as well. I don't have it now. I actually traded it off, but I had Madison. And there was, a, there was a green note in Madison that I didn't really like either. This is definitely like green, it's floral, it's fruity, it has rose, it's fresh. But that green to me definitely shines through in this fragrance. Okay, now let's get into Washington Square. Washington Square is a OG in my collection. I had Washington Square, did I have it since middle school? Since literally middle school. And oh my gosh i don't know this just has good memories associated with it i like it a lot it's woody it's floral it's fresh spicy it's rose it's a lot of them have that combination and that zhuzh but i really really like this i don't have a lot in here it's like up to right here i don't really have a lot this has been used heavily and i have a lot of great memories associated with this fragrance this inspiration is definitely greenery but this is greenery done in such a nice way um I know a lot of men that actually wear Washington Square and it smells amazing on them. It smells really good. I love it. So left off, I only have the Dubai collection left. We're going to start off with Dubai. I have the entire Dubai collection, um, even the good, the bad, everything. <laughs> so let's talk about Dubai Amber. I love this color i like all i just like seeing the color of the juice um of course with these you have to be careful with when you're wearing a certain color like white you have to be careful just so you don't stain dubai amber as much as i love the color i'm not a fan of this scent if i had to give this scent a rating out of 10 i'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10 because there's something about it that just hurts the pit of my stomach the notes in this fragrance is pink pepper bergamot raspberry saffron um bulging rose jasmine cedar amber and vanilla i don't know what it is because just listening to the notes I, there's no problem but it just does something to me just like how black sapphire does something to me it just don't work for me i just don't like it okay let's go into something that i do like though this is citrine Ooh, y'all see that that's cute i like it a lot i like citrine a lot mm. 
<laughs> citrine is a happy fragrance you see like maybe it's also the color too but citrine is definitely a happy fragrance it's citrus it's floral it's just it's really nice it's definitely like a pick me up type of fragrance it's like a wake me up pick me up type of fragrance like i really this is blind buy worthy like if you want to blind buy fragrances in this collection this is definitely one of them that i feel like is blind buy dubai platinum if i had to rate dubai platinum i would say dubai platinum would be a six out of ten very mature i feel to me personally is definitely very masculine i don't have a problem using masculine fragrances it's definitely a whatever i like type of situation but i definitely do see this more so on a man in my personal opinion um it's not a bad fragrance i like it um this one is actually closed off it's nice this is dubai emerald dubai emerald was another blind buy this has notes of leather <laughs> there's something about it that i just don't really like and you know it's okay guys because my mom likes them so they're all for my mom I just don't like and it's crazy because i like the color i like this flame the bottles i like when all the bottles are together the only bottles that i keep in my room literally are the top five like those are the ones that i keep with me this particular fragrance has rose it's woody has leather i think it's the leather that turns me off in this fragrance um when leather protrudes a lot in a fragrance it just kind of i just don't really like that note me personally so if you like that zhuzh this will be good for you but i definitely do smell the leather a lot and i think that's why i'm not a huge fan of this fragrance but let's get into jade jade i'm not mad at i really really do appreciate jade very little of jade though you know why i like jade i feel is because it kind of reminds me of ruby and it has oud in it, it has white floral, there's muskiness, there's rose, jade, me and jade, we here. I really, really do appreciate jade. And that rose is really, really nice. The next one that I have actually is amethyst. I haven't talked about it. Amethyst actually has tobacco, it has white floral. There's amber in here, it's sweet, a bit. If I had to grade, I'm gonna give amethyst a seven out of 10. Um, I think it's a tobacco. I think it's a tobacco and the amber mix in this fragrance that just doesn't really do it for me. But if that's your juice, you're gonna like it, trust me. <laughs> but bond number nine, indigo blue. What? I really like bond number nine, indigo blue. Okay, so this out of the whole Dubai collection, this was actually the first one that I purchased. And it's white floral, it's citrus, fresh. I really, really like it. The composition of this fragrance actually opens up with bergamot, lychee, and pear. It's an amazing, amazing, amazing fragrance. It smells good on a woman and it smells great on a man as well. I actually really like it. Dubai collection for bond number nine that I actually got. So that's what kind of made me blind buy everything else because I felt like, oh my gosh, this was so good. And then when I got Ruby next, I'm like, oh my gosh, Ruby's amazing. And then I kind of went a little bond crazy really that's how that's how it happened i kind of went a little bond dubai collection crazy dubai gold um it has brandy saffron bitter orange ginger cedarwood amber sandalwood musk and patchouli this is one if i had to rate it i'm gonna give it an eight out of ten and it's a very very comforting scent it has a to me it definitely would be amazing um on a you know cool night out i would i personally for me personally i would use this on a cool night out like maybe a fall night a winter night this definitely has lasting power for ages all of these trust me are beast beast mode and this is definitely one of them it smells absolutely amazing i hope you guys enjoyed this video please make sure you like comment and subscribe let me know down below what else you guys would like to see from me and also let me know which one are your favorite bond number nine perfumes if you have any um any ones that you guys have on your wish list let me know and until my next video bye guys the third runner up is going to be bond number i can't keep saying the name i cannot keep saying the who the house is from we know 